Hi, and thank you for tuning in to Noir Histoire. I'm Natasha, and in this episode, I'll be sharing what I've learned about Benjamin O. Davis Jr., born on December 18, 1912, died on July 4, 2002, notable general, nationality, American. Benjamin Oliver Davis Jr. was born in Washington, D.C., the son of Eleanor Dickinson and Benjamin O. Davis Jr. Senior. Unfortunately, Davis's mother died when he was about four years old. But the presence of his father, two sisters, and extended family provided a loving and supportive environment. A few years later, his father remarried. Davis Sr. was a career military man who, upon reaching the rank of Brigadier General, one star, became the first black general in the U.S. Army. Due to his father's career, Davis moved frequently during his childhood. For a time, they lived in Tuskegee, Alabama, while his father taught at the Tuskegee Institute. Living in the Jim Crow South exposed them to the degradation of segregation. Davis admired that his father did not hide in fear, but instead stood in clear view wearing his dress uniform when the Ku Klux Klan rode by. Davis Sr.'s rise through the Army's ranks had come about through will and determination. This was during a time when black people across America faced openly hostile institutional and social racism. As an officer in the segregated military, Davis Sr. also endured discrimination and career limitations due to his race. Rather than hiding these realities from his son, Davis Sr. pointed out the unfairness of segregation, but he also encouraged his son to fight back against racism by being steadfast in his drive to succeed and refusing to be limited by others. During a trip to D.C., Davis attended an air show, which sparked his passion for airplanes. His father arranged for him to fly with one of the pilots, and he began to dream of becoming one. The family later moved to Cleveland, Ohio, where Davis attended Central High School, a predominantly white high school from which he graduated at the top of the class. Following graduation, Davis spent some time at Cleveland's Case Western Reserve University and the University of Chicago. At the age of 20, he enrolled at West Point. This was after passing the entrance exam on his second try and receiving the required congressional recommendation from Representative Oscar S. DePriest. With his arrival, Davis became only the fourth black cadet to attend the famed military academy and the first since Reconstruction. The environment would not be welcoming. For starters, unlike most other cadets, Davis did not have a roommate. This was because administrators would not ask and none of the white cadets volunteered to share a room with them. Also, the other cadets Cadets only spoke to Davis in the line of duty. Thus, for the four years that Davis attended West Point, he lived, ate meals, studied, and otherwise spent his time alone. An advisor also told Davis that his dreams of becoming a pilot were unrealistic due to his race. This social isolation and negativity were intended to discourage Davis. Instead, he persevered and graduated 35th in a class of 276. Two weeks after graduation, Davis married Agatha Scott, a teacher he'd met at a New Year's Eve dance. Davis was unable to secure an assignment to the Army Air Corps as there were no black flying units. Instead, he reported to George's Fort Benning with his new wife, where they remained for two years while he completed infantry school. While there, the couple experienced more of the segregation and social isolation that Davis had likely come to expect. Under pressure from black voters and organizations, President Franklin Roosevelt began to open up opportunities for black people in the military. It was at this point that Davis Sr. was promoted to Brigadier General. He helped to guide the formation of a black flying unit, the 99th Pursuit Squadron. Davis was selected as commander of the 99th in order to report to his new assignment. Finally, Davis received his wings and accomplished his goal of becoming a pilot. This was after years of Davis and others enduring limited assignments due to prejudiced beliefs about the capabilities of black people. The group, better known as the Tuskegee Airmen, would emerge from the segregated Army airfield and distinguish themselves in Italy, Germany, and North Africa. Davis continued his military career, serving in various posts at home and abroad. He served at the Pentagon and commanded flying units during both the Korean War and Vietnam War. During his 38-year military career, Davis received several medals and rose to the rank of three-star general. Even after his retirement in 1971, Davis continued to work in various public service roles. On December 9, 1998, Davis was awarded the rank of four-star general by President Bill Clinton. Benjamin O. Davis Jr. died on July 4, 2002 at the age of 89 from Alzheimer's disease at Walter Reed Army Medical Center in Washington, D.C. He was buried at Arlington National Cemetery with his wife of 63 years who had predeceased him on March 10, 2002. Thanks for tuning in. Show notes and sources are available on the Noir Histoire website via the link in the episode description. I'm working on creating downloadables and infographics, so keep an eye on the website. If you enjoyed this episode and want more, subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell, and check out my Black History Facts playlist. Yes.